You don't need to color correct to then add four four layers of found uh, full coverage foundation. It doesn't make sense. You want to use less is more. You want to just be less, lessness, listless, less. <laughs> Beautiful dreamers and welcome back for another video with your girl <laughs> Shalinda one so in this video guys I want to talk to you guys about color correcting why we do it if it's even deemed necessary the importance of finding the right color correcting product to use and all that good stuff I get so tons of questions about color correcting. You guys have noticed that in some of my videos, I skip color correcting. And the only reason why I do that is because a lot of times when I'm re reviewing a uh, foundation, I really wanna figure out and see the power of that foundation. What exactly does it do? But in the bulk of the times, I do color correct. And in the demo, you will see exactly why. So in this video, I'll be showing you exactly that. I will be demonstrating to you what I use, how I color correct, and the way to know if it's doing if you're doing it the right way the result that you should get after color correcting if you're color correcting with the right product that's what I'll be showing you in this video if you haven't done so already guys go ahead and subscribe because you never want to miss another video with your girl Shalinda one and be sure to click the bell so you never miss another video with your girl Shalinda one okay I know you might as well just go ahead and get it out the way because you know I'm gonna say it again at the end but I mean like you're gonna watch, so you might as well click click, like click click, just get it out the way. Let's just go ahead and get it out the way. And now that you've done that, we can move on with the demo. <laughs> so what is color correcting? Why do we do it? What is it for? What, I mean, what is the end result? You know, we all probably have a, some idea. But let's talk about color correcting. First off, what is color correcting? Color correcting is when you use the opposite color on the color wheel to even out a color. So, prime example, blue is the opposite of orange. So before we go any further, I need to explain one thing. The reason why there's certain things on your face and certain areas on your face that is dark. It's, it looks like darkness, but it's not black and it's not brown, it's blue blue vessels underneath the skin that causes the darkness that you see. For those who may have red vessels or who might have a lot of redness in their face, primary like if you're a lighter skin and you have pimples and things like that, you would use green. Green will counteract that redness. So with that being said, you just want something that's going to counteract that color, that's going to really tone down or even eliminate the color altogether. I am going to be talking and gauging this video more towards darker skin, women of color, okay? Just because we're going to be talking primarily about orange concealers. Good old orange. We have seen people go so far to where they're using neon orange, dark orange, pumpkin orange, burnt orange all the way all the way to like red to where there's some that's actually using red on their face to counteract that darkness please stop doing that <laughs> please stop doing that and i'm gonna tell you the reason why you shouldn't do that the reason why you shouldn't do that and the reason why it's so imperative to find the right shade for your skin is because you do not want to apply all this orange and red to your face. Then after you apply your foundation, you can still see the orange and red. Like it changes the color of the foundation. If, it's, if I put it on and you can still see it, it's not the right color. The point of color correcting is to apply a color that literally counteracts the darkness. You should not be able to see the darkness and you should not be able to see the color and the tint of the corrector. I use a corrector from Smashbox. It's a Smashbox color correcting stick. Look less tired. This is their dark pencil. 
this is the way it looks it comes in pencil form and that is the color that is the color it is not dark orange it is not neon bright peach it is the perfect color of orange for me to counteract the darkness on my face the objective is to apply this to dark areas and to not even notice that I put it on you want to talk, you, want, you want to see what I'm talking about? Okay. I figured you would. So before anything else, you have to move forward with proper skincare. I like to start off with a face spray, add my primers, my moisturizers, all that good stuff, as well as my eye cream. The eye cream is really important because you always want to make sure that underneath your eye is well moisturized. So the first thing you're going to see me doing is really evaluating my face. I'm not just gonna go straight in and just start applying product all over the place. I'm going to look at my face and say, where do I need this? I have darkness underneath my eyes, I have darkness around my mouth, and at the bottom of my chin, on both edges of my chin. So that is the very specific areas that I'm going to apply it. So what I like to do is, you can use your fingers to um, blend it out, but I love to use a brush. And this brush is by Sedona Lace. This is my 217. I love this concealer brush because it allows me to pat the product into place and then use circular motions to blend out the edges. And after blending it out, on one side you can see how it doesn't even look like I applied anything it literally looks like it's the skin I'm supposed to have it doesn't look like I put on a corrector it doesn't look like I put on a concealer it looks like the skin I'm supposed to have because this right the right color of orange has now neutralized the darkness okay so now my under eye looks just like my forehead it looks like they marry, they, it's supposed to be there. That is what a corrector is supposed to be used for. You don't need to color correct to then add four, four layers of found, uh, full coverage foundation. Doesn't make sense. You wanna use less is more. You want to just be less, lessness. Less, less, less. <laughs> So guys, there you have it. I hope that this video helps. In this video, the point, the point of this video was a few things. Do you really need to color correct? Really evaluate and looking yourself in the mirror, identifying what you see wrong and if it's really deemed necessary for you to color correct. And then if you find that you do need to color correct, are you using the right product? There's tons of product out there all ranging on different colors, making sure you use the right one to complement your skin tone so that it corrects properly. And uh, so that was the point of this video and I hope that it helps. Guys, I love you so much. If you haven't done so already, please rate, comment, and subscribe so you never miss another video with your girl Shalinda One. You definitely wanna click that bell so you'll never miss another video with your, with your girl Shalinda One and you'll find out first because you get the notification. So you definitely want to become a, a part of the notification squad. Go absolutely everywhere and follow me at Shalona One. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in the very next video. Mwah. Bye, guys. The question of the day. If you do color correct, what do you currently use to color correct? I want to see those comments below. If you do color correct, what products do you use? And let's help everybody out. I love you guys, and I'll see you in the very next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.